Hello, and in this lesson, we are going to talk about Amazon Machine Images, also known as AMIs, specifically touching on AMI definitions, a conceptual AMI overview, AMI components, and AMI categories. So what is AMI? A simplified definition is a pre-configured package required to launch an EC2 instance. So the pre-configured package required to launch a virtual server in the Amazon cloud, including an operating system, most importantly, software packages and other required settings. For the AWS definition, an Amazon machine image provides the information required to launch an instance, which is a virtual server in the cloud. You specify an AMI when you launch an instance, and you can launch as many instances from an AMI as you need. You can also launch instances from as many different AMIs as you need. So the important thing here to understand is that AMIs are a required component of an EC2 instance, and it is the basic software package that you install on the instance, primarily its operating system and you can launch as many EC2 instances as you like from the exact same AMI. So to understand AMIs conceptually, let's take a look at its components. And it has three main components, which is a root volume template, and this is what includes your operating system and any application software that may be included, launch permissions, and block device mapping, or EBS hard drive mapping. So if you think about an EC2 instance or a Linux EC2 instance for the root volume template, that would mean the Amazon Linux operating system, including software packages such as Apache Web Server. And then also for block device mapping, this may be EBS mapping to various volumes. Now the nice thing or one of the main benefits of Amazon Machine Images is that you can configure these components any way that you like and then make your own Amazon machine image from that template. And when you create an AMI, you are essentially just creating a template that you can use to launch another EC2 instance that has the exact same components as the original. So if I create a Linux EC2 instance with these AMI settings, I can then create my own machine image of this instance. I can then use that machine image to launch two, three, four, five, six different EC2 instances, all with the exact same settings. So using AMIs is a quick way to create additional instances in Amazon Web Services. So when you launch an EC2 instance, the first thing you do is select an AMI. So to show you that, over here in the EC2 console, if I click on Launch Instance, the first step is going to be to choose an Amazon machine image. And you're going to see here under Quick Start, there's going to be a bunch of images listed. And the primary way that these are designated are by operating systems. So whether it's Amazon Linux, Red Hat, SUSE Linux, Windows, different versions of Windows. And then within each operating system type, you can then see various other settings and software packages that may come installed on that Amazon machine image. Now for AMIs, there are different types of categories. So the first is community AMIs. These are free to use. And generally with these AMIs, you are just selecting the OS that you want, meaning that's the primary reason why you would use the community AMIs for a specific operating system and basic installed software packages and settings. And those can be viewed either under Quick Start or by clicking on community AMIs, for which then you can filter down and select things specific to what your needs may be. Next is the AWS Marketplace AMIs. These are pay to use AMIs and generally come packaged with additional licensed software. So taking a look at that, the AWS Marketplace, you will see AMIs that are packaged with various enterprise type software. Last is my AMIs, and these are AMIs that you create yourself. 
Currently, we don't have anything here because we haven't created anything, but this is something we are going to do later in this course. So to quickly review, again, AMI is the abbreviation for Amazon Machine Image, and what you need to take away from this is that AMIs are what provides the information required to launch the instance, mainly the operating system. At least for the purpose of this introductory course, this essentials course to AWS, that's the way I want you to think of AMIs, is that you are selecting your operating system. As you move into more advanced courses, then you'll start to learn about the various different settings installation packages and virtualization types that also come along with AMIs. But for now, that will conclude this lesson. Thank you for watching. You may now move on.